uh, way back at the beginning of this course in module one, um, we, we showed that uh, at least some physical systems, their dynamic behavior can be modeled with differential equations, it's with idealized components like a linear spring and damper in this mass spring damper system. The system could be modeled with this differential equation. Use Laplace transforms like this to come up with the transfer function, pretty fundamental concept throughout this course. What if, starting with that same uh, differential equation, we define some new variables? Say x sub one is the variable y, and x sub two is its is y's derivative. It means it's x one's derivative. X two dot, or the derivative of x two, would be the second derivative of x one, or the second derivative of y. And you could solve for that from this original equation. You'd have what x2 dot is. We have x1 dot equals x2, and x2 dot equals this, which is all in terms of x1, x2, f. You can put that in matrix uh, notation. Here's the vector x1, x2 dot, both dotted, see that x1 dot equals x2, and x2 dot equals minus k over m x1, minus b over m x2, plus 1 over m f, and y, if that's the output you're interested in, is x1, 1, x1, and 0, ft. You can put it in this format. So we kind of converted a second order differential equation into a first order matrix equation. X is our state. And this is called the state space representation. So now we're talking state space. And we suddenly entered modern control theory. Everything we've done up to now has been classical controls. So now we're starting modern control, state space. Um, I won't go over this, but if you want to look up more exactly what happened on the previous chart, we'll study this chart, which is all on my website, by the way. Uh, let's take this other mechanical system, two bodies. Here's the two differential equations, one for each body. I can define my state space variables this way. It's the position and velocity of each of these two bodies. I won't go through all this. But again, now I have four state variables, position of each body and the velocity of each body. There, there's the state equation. It's just the x equation. The well, output equation would be depend on what your output is, your output of interest. And there's more details if you want to know the algebra of that previous chart. I won't go through this. Uh, another case, let's say you started with a block diagram that consisted only of just coefficient multipliers and integrators. One over S is integration. Remember that? Well, you could define your state variables as the output of each integrator. So I'll say this is my x1 variable, and this is my x2 variable. That means the inputs to those integrators are the associated derivatives of those state variables. x1 dot goes in, x1 comes out, same here. x2 dot goes in, x2 co comes out. Now let's look at now let's look at what that means. What is x1 dot? Let's see R. Minus x1 plus one half 
x2. I have an equation for x1. Ah, rearrange it a little bit. Here it is. What is x2 dot? That's this guy. No, that's this guy. Well, same thing. This guy, which will be minus x1 dot minus x2. And we had what x1 dot was. Plug that in there, simplify it, you have this. Now I have both x1 dot and x2 dot, strictly in terms of x1, x2, and r. x1, x2, and r. And what is y? It's just x2 dot. Which again, we had a, a statement for that. So now we can put it all in state space format. X1 dot equals minus X1 plus a half X2 plus R. X2 dot equals X1 minus three halves X2 and a minus R. And Y was in terms of both, there's everything involved here. X1, a minus three halves X2, minus one R. So I have the four matrices I need for state space representation, the A, the B, the C, and the D. Remember that's, remember this red circle. That's the state space formula. And uh, we're gonna be dealing with them in subsequent videos. In my course, yes, you gotta do some matrix stuff, but I limited in my course only two by two matrices. So you did have to add, subtract, and multiply two by two matrices and find the adjoint, determinant, and inverse. If you're rusty on all that, see my NMATH A course. Uh, there's also some Laplace transforms. Have to do some inverse transforms, a little bit of PFE. Probably the cover up method will suffice for everything we're going to do here. Again, you can review that in my NMATH A course. Um, the other restriction state space in general hand, handles multiple input, multiple output. All the classical stuff we did was single input, single output. But we're going to limit our course for state space to also single input, single output. We'll still be dealing with matrices, but the inputs and outputs, the U's and the Y's, are going to be scalars, not vectors. In general, you know, you go back to this state space. A, B, C, and D are matrices. X, Y, and U are, in general, vectors. But in my course, I'm limited the U and the Y to be scalar. X will still be a vector, but only a two by two vector. Um, so that's the introduction to state space. What is it? And we'll be analyzing control systems using state space 